President of the Senate, Senator Gatil Akbabu, says for a better national budget, agencies at all levels must work towards revenue generation. Senator Akbabu said these are the one-day retreats on the 2024 budget organized by the Committee on Appropriations. The Senate President assured Nate Terrence of the National Assembly's commitment to pass into law an effective budget that will cater for all aspects of the economy. A National Assembly correspondent, Nami Alaribe, has details. Legislatures, stakeholders and non-government organizations were present at the stakeholders' one-day retreat on the 2024 Appropriations Bill to deliberate on practical measures to take on implementation of the 2024 budget. President of the Senate, Senator Goswell Abbeo, said with the current economic situation, proper use of national budget is critical in boosting the nation's economy. My message is very simple. Revenue drive, revenue drive, and revenue drive. We cannot achieve much unless all the revenue agencies rise to the occasion. But no matter how beautiful the budget is, if they don't want it to spend, the budget will not work. So I think that's the main message that I have. In his keynote address, Dr. Ayo Tariba, an economist, said to manage the nation's economy ahead of the new year, there is need for Nigeria to pay more attention to what we own rather than what we owe. He said the country needs to move away from deficits and give opportunity for more foreign investments. You know, is to move from a group that buries their talents to join the group that profits their talents. So for the assets, GOEs we mentioned, and that's why the infrastructure we mentioned, there's also real estate. So somebody has said no asset register, which is, do we even know what we do? And you'd be surprised how many companies do that. Then, if you know what you own, do you know the market value? Which is where it begins to profit it. So only needs are not knowing the market value. It's as good as not knowing people. Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, in his address, said there is room for privatization to generate revenue. He emphasized on the need to put into consideration the recent climate changes affecting the world. It is a great boon to the nation to have the um, speedy processing not just rubber stamping, but assisting to improve the appropriation bill draft that is put before them, but in record time, which means they are working day and night for the country. We do have a 27.5 trillion draft appropriation bill. In short, as you all know, it does lower the deficit to 3.88% of GDP from last year's estimated 6.1 percent there's higher capital expenditure as well but the importance is that the direction of travel is to reducing the deficit is to reducing the emphasis on borrowing particularly foreign borrowing capital market expensive borrowing Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Abubakar Bagudu, said budgets can only fund a portion of requirements. He said the nation must find a way to fund other pressing issues. Give attention to those ministries and enable ministers heading the polit as political leaders of those ministries to focus on what we can do to develop our potential in those sectors is also supported, consistent with the eight priority areas is also supported by the budget process. And this come, uh, this is a point where we need to appreciate that the deal originating template has already been passed on to us by Mr. President in the sense that every minister is supposed to focus on this vision, see what, what out of that vision can be migrated from the budget process so that it can be funded. 
Chairman, Senate Committee on Appropriations, Senator Adeola Solomon, said all heads of agencies are expected to appear before the National Assembly to defend its budget over the next one week. Ministries, parastatas, and agency of the government, you must appear as at when due to defend your budget because the National Assembly have agreed to do a joint sitting. That is, both the House and the Senate will have a joint sitting. So there will be no need for you to come to the Senate and go to the House of Reps. But after putting this in place, any agencies of the government that refuse to comply and do all that is necessary should be ready to have a zero base, a zero budget. President of the Senate, Senator Gosula Babi Ufoda, said the 10th Senate promises to continue with the January to December budget cycle. From the National Assembly, Naomi Oleribi. ADBN News.